Hello guys, uh, welcome back to African Motives. Uh, working on the velocity time graph, uh, we have a question that you're going to consider given the graph uh, that shows part of uh, a velocity time graph. So take note here, we are working or we are dealing with a velocity time graph. That is, we are given a velocity time graph of a moving object. The object travels at constant velocity V meters per second. So if we cross check also on our diagram here, we can see that the initial velocity or the starting point is at V, which is velocity in meters per second. So it, it travels at this constant velocity for 10 seconds. As we can see, it, co it corresponds with our time at 10 seconds. Then from this part, we are then it is uh, then given that it then accelerates uniformly until it reaches a velocity of 15 meters per second in four seconds. So if we are to check here, the last part of our velocity time graph is uh, from the V, there is an acceleration, an increase in speed that is occurring here uh, for these four seconds. That is, uh, if we add from the 10 that we are having, if we add the four seconds, we are going to end up at 14. That means here in between our time frame, we have got uh, four seconds in between. That is uh, four seconds. All right. So the first part of our question is to calculate or to determine uh, the value of V given that the distance traveled during the first 10 seconds is 50 meters. Calculate V. How can we obtain the value of V from the distance? All right, this is our object that is the one that we are having. Remember that everything uh, as long as we are under velocity time graph is can be referred to as a, an object. So we are saying this part of our object that is for the first 10 seconds, we are given that the distance here is 50 meters. From the formula of distance or from how we calculate this distance, we know that it is equivalent to the area under the graph. So meaning to say we can formulate an equation from the distance that you are given. So in order for you to calculate the unknown value, what I want you to understand is that this unknown value can only be calculated from the given concept. Sometimes they give you acceleration, they give you distance, you use the information that you are given on that particular Question. So in this case, we've got a distance. So we are going to focus with the distance. So like I said, that distance is equivalent to the area under the graph. So we are talking about area under the graph. So if this is the area under the graph, which part are we talking about uh, in the first 10 seconds, which is a rectangle? And we can consider the area of a rectangle, which is taken from the length times width. So in this case, we are saying from 0 to 10, this is our our length from 0 to 10, that is 10 minus 0, which is 10 units. Then from 0 to V, that is V minus 0, which is what? V units. So this is the distance that we are talking about from this point to this point, from this point to this point that we are going to use as length times width. All right, so we are going to substitute our, our distance. In this case, we are told that the distance is uh, 50 meters. So we are going to have distance of 50 meters is equal to the length times the width, which refers to the area of that shape, which is the area of a rectangle that is 10 times V. So we are going to have length of 10 times the width, which is V. So from this part, we have formulated an equation that you can use to calculate the value of V. So 50 is equal to 10 times V which is 10V, so we can divide by 10. That's a normal equation to find the value of V. So that means V is equal to 10 into 50, that is uh, five. So remember that V represents velocity in meters per second. So therefore our V is five meters per second, which you can also write as five meters per second like this to the exponent of a, a negative one. All right, so this is our velocity. Uh, in meters per second, that is the, the velocity, the value of V, which is our initial or the starting point. So meaning to say the object started at five meters per second. And from that five meters per second, it accelerated to 15 meters per second later on. All right, that is the second part of our question now, which is on B, is to find the acceleration now in the last four seconds. So take note, in the last 
four seconds. We are having an acceleration in this case in these four seconds. So uh, how are we going to determine the acceleration in the last four seconds? Okay, so this is our B item one. So remember, guys, I said from uh, the introduction of velocity time graph uh, that acceleration is determined as the rate of change of velocity so this is just uh the change in velocity over the change in time so meaning to say during uh, or the last four seconds this one that i indicated from 10 to 14 the change in velocity simply means v2 minus v1 over the change in time that is t2 minus t1 just like the way you calculate gradient so v2 is the final velocity from this initial velocity when it is five uh that is also this or v1 and our v2 is the final one this is 15 which is v2 so that is 15 minus 5 that is a v2 minus v1 15 minus 5 everything over t2 minus t1 the final time minus the initial one so that's 14 minus during the last four seconds we are considering these two points 14 and and 10 so that will be 14 minus 10 so this is going to give us an acceleration all right so if we simplify 15 minus 5 that will be 10 over 14 minus uh, 10 this is going to be 4 so 10 over 4 can be reduced uh, by 2 that will be 2 here by 2 that will be 5 2 into 5 that is a uh, two remainder one into 10. That will be five meters per square second acceleration measured in meters per square seconds. Or you can simply apply the gradient concept, guys. Uh, uh, acceleration simply represents the same thing or the same concept as gradient. So if it represents the same thing or the same way as the gradient, I want you to check what you're having here. You have got the point here, the value of, t which is 10 and this is 5 so if you join just like x and y this is 10 and 5 so you can make a point here 10 versus 5 the same thing here during the last 44 seconds that is where we consider the last point is at 15 uh at 14 here versus 15 so this is 14 versus 15 just like you consider x and y so you can use this as points like i'm saying that acceleration is the same concept as calculating the gradient so we know that from our gradient concept gradient is the change in y over the change in x which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so we can take them as points now to say the point here was uh, we said 10 here that is 10 5 so the point is 10 5 the other point is uh, 14 15 so with these two points, we can calculate the same way we calculate gradient x1. We have got y1, x2, y2. So I said gradient. That's why I'm using x and y because we are talking as a gradient. If we talk of acceleration, we are talking about the change in velocity. All right. So this is going to be uh, y2, which is 15. That's 15 minus y1, which is 5 over x2, which is uh, 14 minus x1 which is 10 as we can see this stage here and this stage here are simply the same meaning to say we're going to have the same answer as uh, 2.5 at the end in meters per square second so that is how we can simply have this uh, acceleration you can calculate the same way you calculate your 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 gradient all right so that was our question b item one then we move on to b item two which is now to calculate the total distance traveled by the object in the 14 seconds we are referring from zero up to 14 from zero here up to 14 but if you check before we were told that for the first 10 seconds the distance is 50 meters so meaning to say from this point we have the distance what we need is to calculate the distance uh in the last segment that is in the last four seconds what is going to be our distance in the last four seconds how can we calculate distance remember that distance is simply area so depending with how you view this object someone can refer to this uh, 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 that is a rectangle here and a triangle you've got two shapes or someone can simply take this shape as a whole trapezium so we are going to calculate the distance of this piece here 
we add to the to this one of 50 meters because we have got this part of 50 meters but we do not have this distance so if you know uh from the concept of a trapezium you can apply that concept of a, a, a trapezium in this case because we know that uh from our trapezium concept distance uh i mean the area of a trapezium is half the sum of parallel sides times the perpendicular height so the sides which are parallel in this case we are referring to the sides which are at 90 degrees that is these two sides these are the parallel sides so that is from this point to this point it's five units from this point to this point, it corresponds with 15 units. So these are the ones that we are referring. So that is half of 5 plus 15, the sides which are parallel, times the perpendicular height from this point to this point. This is your height to the 90 degrees, which is the 4 units, or simply 14 minus 10, which gives us uh, 4 units. So this is going to give us the area, which is the distance. So you can add uh, 5 plus 15, that is a 20 in this case. Uh, whatever that you have, we multiply to a 4. So you can simplify 2 into 20, that is 10. Then we can multiply 10 times 4, which gives us uh, 40 meters. This is distance. Yes, it's true that we are calculating like area, but this is distance. So we are referring to meters. So in this case, I have calculated the whole distance of this portion that we are seeing, the whole trapezium that is uh, the one that i was focusing on so meaning to say i have got 40 meters here so what is going to be the total distance now if this part is represented by 50 meters and this part is represented by 40 meters therefore our total uh distance we are going to add the two so that means our total distance is going to be the first part from 0 to 10 which is uh, 50 meters so this was uh, 50 meters plus the last part from 10 to 14, which is 40 meters. So that is going to be 40. So we add, uh, we are going to obtain 90 meters. So that is the same concept. If you were to use this part as a rectangle, then as a triangle on top. So I want you to try that part and see if you are going to obtain the same answer as 40, then you add to obtain uh, 90 meters as the total distance. So that's what we had, guys, uh, from Maison African Motives, working on velocity time graphs uh, till we meet again.